Okay, so hi everyone. So this video, I will explain about repetition control structure by using increment and decrement. Well, for an extra loop. Okay, so the increment and decrement operators. So for this plus equal is the increment operators. It adds one to a variable. So if it, for example, if you put a, a plus equal to one, so it is same as a equal to a plus one. If you put a plus equal b, then it is a equal to a plus b. Okay, so if you put minus equal to, so this is the decrement operators. So it subtract 1 from a variable. So a, a minus equal 1, so it will become the a equal to a minus 1. Okay, and then the introduction to while loops. So the while loops is, okay, a loop is a control structure that cause a statement or statements to repeat so general format of the while loops is okay you have a while conditions okay here is the conditions and then this is colon and then you have the statement as long as it's fulfilled this condition then you will keep running this statement okay so it is true for the condition so it will run as q and express if it is false then the will the loops will be finished and problem statements following statements as a q okay so for the flow chart or how you draw the flow chart for this is okay this is the expression okay this is the expression and this is true if true then it will repeat and it will go back to this loop until the expression become false then it will go to next okay so for example this is the example for print hello okay so number equal to one while number is less or equal to five then it will print hello okay number plus equal to one complete so what does it mean here is okay you initiate you declare number equal to one so while number equal to one one is less or equal to five now one is less than equal to five then you will print the first hello and then it will plus one so number will become two so when you go back to the top here so two is still less than five so it will print hello and then plus one become three three go to here it will still print hello number three okay and then after that, it will become 4. Then it will go back to this while loop. And then it will print hello for number 4, hello. And then plus equal to 5. Okay, so 5, e 5 is less than equal to 5. So it is still a uh, true statement. So it will still print hello. But then now 5 plus equal 1, it will become 6. So 6 is not fulfilled this while condition. Then it will skip this and go to print complete. Okay, so let me try to run and let you see this coding. Okay, so you can see this is the coding. So I try to run. Okay, so it will show you like this. Hello, 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 and copy. As I explained before. Okay, so let us proceed. So you can see how the while loops work. Okay, so test this condition. And it is in if the condition is true, then perform this statement. Repeat until the condition becomes false. Then if you will run this statement once completing the loop. So after this loop becomes false, then it will print this. Okay. So the flow chart for this is this is the number. Okay. If less or equal to five, you print hello. But this shape supposing need to be the parallelogram. So this one you need to be a lot with it. This is incorrect for this shape flow chart shape. And then add one to the number, and then it will go back to the loop on top, and then it will go to this okay condition, and then check until it becomes false. Then you will go to next step. So while is a pretest loop, what is the pretest loop mean? It will test first before it executes. Okay, it will be evaluated before the loop executes. So the following loop will never execute. Like you declare number equal to six. So while number is less or equal to five, okay, you will print hello. Okay, but then now here is already false at the beginning. So it will never print hello, and then it will print complete. So let me try and let you see if I declare this as 6, what will happen. So let's say I put 6. Okay, so you see it will not print hello, but it will print complete. Okay, so it is very important for this initial. Okay, initial condition for this you declare. So the loop, okay, you also need to watch out for infinite loops. Means the loop never end the loop must contain code to make it false else the loop will have no way of stopping so such a loop called an infinite loops because it will repeat an infinite numbers of time 
Okay. So for this, let's say this is an example of infinite loops. So number you declare equal to 1 as just now. Number now is less or equal to 5. Print hello. And then here you don't have a decrement conditions. Uh, increment conditions. Means the number will always become 1. Okay. So it will always become a true statement. So let's say I remove this. Okay. And then I run. Sorry, I didn't declare this one. Okay, so you can see that you will not finish the ending. You can see that key is keep running until you press the stop button. So you'll be alert on this. Make sure you need to put the conditions. Okay, increment or decrement if you want to use it. Or else it might happen like that. So I get back to this. So you can see that for the initial one, it will print five times and then until complete. Okay, so you also can calculate how many times it being loops. Okay, so while you using the while loops for input input validation, so while is very useful for you to validate the inputs from the user. So input validation is the process of inspecting data that is given to the program as input and determine whether it is valid or not. So the while loops can be used to create input routines that reject invalid data and repeat until valid data is entered. Okay, so this is the pseudocode for general approach. Read an item for input. While the input is invalid, you were going to display an error message and read the input again and the while. Okay, so this is a flowchart for input validations. Okay, this one you need to learn. You will be very useful for your project. So is the value invalid? So it's invalid, then you will display error message as this is also the shape supposed to be parallelogram. Okay, please change it and then read another value. And then you will go back this until the user key in a valid number. Okay, so this is program example one. You can see print this and then number equal to integer input and integer number less than 10. You want to ask the user to key in the number less than 10. Okay, while the number is greater or equal to 10, it will print invalid input until the user key in the correct input. So let me open the file for you to see. Okay. So for this, okay, let me zoom it. So let's say for this, I run. Okay. So let's say I key in 10. So it will say invalid input entry. So enter a number is less than 10. So let's say I put 100. It will see, it will still show you less than 10. It, uh, invalid so please key in number less than 10 so let's say I put 8 so now it's valid mean it will go to this okay it will end the loop as long as the condition become false so I go to next slide for for example 2 this one okay also another example that using while loop for in valid for input validations so you can see that player input how many players are available while player is less or equal to 0 you will print invalid entry. Player must, and then you will ask the user to key in again. Player equal to integer input. Please enter positive integer. Okay, this one you no need to declare, uh, declare the increment or decrement because you will ask user to give the input. That's why you get this. So while after it enter the invalid entry, then when the user key in the number, then you will check the while condition is it fulfilled or not. Okay, so let me show you the example. So for this, okay, so let me play, run for you, uh, let me zoom it up so you can see that. So how many layers are available, let's say I put negative 1, see, it will show you the invalid entry, then I will put negative 2, still invalid entry, then I will print, negative, I will print 0, it will still show you invalid because this is 12 player or less or equal to 0, then you print in, invalid. So let's say I put 8. Then it will show you it is valid entry. So you can proceed the next step for your coding. So this is how you use the while conditions. Okay, so for the class today, and so for the videos today is until here. So for next video, I will going to explain about the for and nested. Okay, so see you.